Simplify. 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 We have to multiply our two rational expressions, right? We're not going to want to multiply trinomial times a trinomial. That's going to take us forever to get that done. And then we're not going to want to multiply this binomial times a trinomial. So we always want to look into simplifying before we apply the operation. And then once we apply the operation, we always want to try to simplify again. Um, so when looking at a problem like this, I see my trinomials. And I'm just not going to be able to factor out GCFs like I've done before. I need to look at my factoring technique. Now, excuse me. I, uh, I'm going to do a lot of this work in my head. I will kind of say it out loud, but the math I'm just going to kind of do in my head. I'm not going to work it step by step to keep this video kind of short, as I have many, many other videos on how to factor. So I need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me a positive 6, add to give me a negative 5. Well, that's going to be x minus 2 times x minus 3. x squared minus 4, that's a difference of two squares, which is x minus 2 times x plus 2 times. What two numbers multiply to give me 2, add to give me 3? So that's going to be x plus 2 times x plus 1. And then in my denominator, x squared minus 2x minus 3. What two numbers multiply to give me negative 3, but then add to give me negative 2? So that's going to be x minus 3 times x plus 1. Now what I need to do is determine which numerator, which values in my numerator can be divided by my terms in my denominator that are going to equal 1. Well, here I have an x plus 1 and an x plus 1 x plus 2 and an x plus 2, x minus 3 and an x minus 3, x minus 2 and an x minus 2. Therefore, this whole thing all divides out to the number 1. And that's going to be your final simplified answer. Thanks.